Okay, our Coors Light Pole Award Pole Award winner for Sunday's 47th annual Quicken Loans 400 here at Michigan International Speedway is Casey Kane. He's the driver of the number five Great Clips Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, crew Chief Keith Rodden uh, up on the pit box for Sunday's race. This is uh, Casey's 27th pole. And uh, he turned a lap of 201 miles, 201.992 miles per hour. And that 27 career poles ties him with uh, Hall of Fame inductee Terry Labonte for 25th all time. And uh, it's been a, been a little while since he's been set on the pole, but uh, we're glad to have you in here, Casey, and uh, great clips and and all the fine folks from that uh, organization. But uh, it's your third poll here at Michigan. Talk about the mindset now that you have. You know, you've got a fast race car. You've got a great race team. Uh, you're hungry for a win. Uh, and just talk about how all those things are, are playing a role right now. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's definitely a strong car today. Uh, great Cup Chevrolet was, was strong in practice this morning, and then right there, all three rounds, it felt really good, really comfortable with the car, and uh, made a little mistake there into three on the final lap and overdrove the entry because uh, I was I felt like I could and realized I couldn't, so I had to get get it back real quick and, and was still able to, to run the lap. But I uh, just felt like we had a great car all day to this point, and, and tomorrow's a big day to, to prepare for for Sunday, but this is a big start to the weekend. It's been a long time since I had a poll, uh, like you said, I think 2012, which, uh, you Kansas. know, in the, yeah, in the past, it was uh, seemed way easier to win polls. So uh, the last three years have been, you know, more difficult for some reason to to qualify first. But, you know, we we're able to do that today and hopefully this, this will propel us into a good Sunday and then also, uh, you know, more polls and things throughout the season. Questions for our Coors Light Poll Award winner. Casey Kane, anyone? Tom has one, and then Lee. Tom, and then Lee. Hi, Casey. Tom Jensen, FoxSports.com. Congratulations. You know, we've seen passing be really difficult at Charlotte and Pocono, and even even at Dover recently. Do you expect that to continue here, or will the fact that you can go so wide here, do uh, you expect a, a more competitive? race on Sunday yeah it's it's tough to to say at this point you know I think tomorrow's race today's race with a different rubber is probably not going to change a lot of the racetrack but tomorrow's race will be will learn a lot on on how wide the track is you know last year was the first year that I felt we could run the bottom in one and two and not be really slow you actually could could make some passes down there and make some gains uh, and in three and four you've been able to do that for the last couple of years so that was that was a you know a benefit last year I think tomorrow will be the same, and then maybe they'll even widen out and get wider towards the top of the racetrack like it used to be. That's what I'm hoping for. If it's like that, you know, yeah, we'll be able to pass. We'll be able to, uh, you know, draft up and, and make moves if you have that momentum. Uh, but it's it's really tough to say, you know, exactly how that's going to go because the off-throttle time right now is not not very much, you know, so it's going to need to be more. And, and I think as the track gets rubbered in and the tires get hot, you'll see more lifting, and at that point, hopefully we'll pass more. Let's go over here to the far right to Lee. Lee Spencer, motorsport.com. You, you've known Keith for a long time, but, you know, this is your first pull together, and still there are certain, you know, things you've had to get used to with him as your crew chief. Um, you know, what have been the good things, the bad things, and, and just, you know, what has the process been like this season? Yeah, I think really it's all been good to this point. Uh, Keith said, a great guy. Uh, he puts a lot of time into his race cars, and uh, he's really good to his guys. So we've we've enjoyed it. I mean, just taking the picture at the car over there, we're laughing, and you know, with jokes coming from Keith and stuff. So he's a he's just a good guy, and he's he's really smart, and uh, he puts a lot into his cars and and tries to find the speed that we need. And um, you know, he'll tell you if you if you made a mistake, but at the same time, he'll tell you if he needed to do a better job as well. And you can't have, I mean. It can't be any better than that because I'm the same way. I'll tell him when I made a mistake and be like, man, we needed the car better at the same time. So he's, uh, I don't know, I like every part of what Keith's done to this point. 
working with him and also what he's done with our team and how he works with the guys. It's been it's been good, and I think it's going to only pay off as the season goes. You've had the opportunity to test the proposed aero package that they're talking about running at Kentucky in a testing situation with a smaller spoiler. You know, earlier you just said that your time on the throttle is such that you just don't slow down. Um, this proposed package would give you opportunity probably to lift a lot more than than y'all are used to. Um, from the driver's seat, you know, what is that? What has that package felt like in the past? Well, that's. Um if we're talking about the Charlotte test I did earlier in the year, we spent a little bit of time with that. And I really I really liked it. You know, I ran by myself uh, and, and felt like it was the first time I could really drive the car, control the car, lift, and, and do things to make the car work uh, rather than just run super hard all the time like what we're doing. So I I liked that. But that's how, when I came into the sport, that's how it was. You're all, you know, you, you drove more with both feet. Um, you know, you found speed in different spots of the corner and you, you weren't wide open. So I've always kind of had that, you know, that's how I've raced. So I don't know, you know, the difference is, I think as time has changed, it's been a something for me to try to learn, you know, and I, and I want to learn whatever NASCAR has us race. But um, I look forward to, to doing something different. I look forward to, if that's the direction they go, I think it'll be great. Uh, but we'll all need to work on it for a while to make it, you know, to make it the best that it can be. And then we'll see, you know, kind of where that stands with what we have today. Go to Reed and then over here to uh, Rachel. Go ahead, Reed, and then Rachel. Yeah, Casey, you were saying it's become a lot harder to win a poll. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's because maybe some teams in the past that did not concentrate as much in that area have started doing so? I think the the competition's much closer. I think the you know the drivers, the teams are are better than what they used to be. Um, a lot of times, there's you know a tenth separates fifteen cars. You know, and I don't remember it being quite like that when I first came into the sport. When I used to win, you know, polls seemed to be easier to win at that time. And um, I, th I just think it's a, you know, maybe a little bit of a feel in the car. And there's times when I haven't, like, I'm not finding that feel that I need to find. You know, and it's, uh, I mean, it shows, you know, with... Truex, for example, he, you know, what he did last year and what he's doing this year, they just, they found some things that made him more comfortable in the car and he's flying. I mean, he's doing an awesome job and that whole team is, but they didn't have that last year. It was something that they found together and, and worked hard to find this year. So it's, you know, different things fit p different people at different times. And uh, we're working hard to, to get to that point. We want to race those guys each week and we want to battle to lead laps and, and try to win races. We'll go here with Rachel and then finish up with Mike. Okay. Um, MIS is a track that's really known for very fast record qualifying speeds. You know, we didn't see that this year. It still had a lot of drivers above 200 miles an hour in final qualifying. Uh, but what are some of the factors that may have affected you know, division speed this year? Uh, mainly just the power of the car. We have a lot less power. So as far as driving and how much 100% um, throttle I was on, I'll guarantee that was more today than what it was last year. It was just slower because you don't have as much horsepower to, to you know, run the speed around the track. But as far as on the throttle, 100% throttle, I ran a lot more today than I've ever ran at Michigan. Final question, Mike. Uh, just, you know, this is a great start being, uh, you know, starting up front, having the track position. Having a great pit stall throughout the race, which will help the pit guys. Uh, my pit crews came a long ways this year, and they're doing an awesome job uh, each week. So I look forward to coming down pit road and getting tires and, and adjustments, things like that. And then just uh, doing a really doing a good job on restarts. You know that'll be key for me if I'm, you know, getting good restarts, uh, staying in the front, staying if we're in the first couple rows, staying where I'm at and not losing spots there, staying towards the front. You know that'll be key to being there late in the race and having a shot on that final restart or that final long run, whatever it may be. Casey, thank you very much. Congratulations yeah. on the poll, and good luck the rest of the weekend. Thanks a lot.